All of our energy in space comes from solar. The need to make it cheaper and more feasible for the larger and larger space missions that we're trying to accomplish is huge. The research we do here is, is very awesome and very, um, uh, has a very large impact on different scientific fields. And yeah, it's just really awesome to find something like that here. Almost 100% of the electricity used in space comes from solar panels and solar cells. And to have in-space missions like the new directive uh, for us to go to back to the moon in uh, 2024, the ma majority of our power is going to come from solar. And the current technology, you basically, you don't fabricate it in space. You, you fabricate it on the ground, you bring it up into space, and then you kind of envelop it. So essentially, the panels that are being used in space right now are very similar to what you'd see on a house here on Earth. They're expensive, they're heavy, and they're just hard to get into space. So the students up at UC Merced are working on a process called electrospraying, where they can basically create solar panels out of thin air. Here we have a pump that will move at a set speed that will actually pump the solution through this tube right here and down to this needle. This is our perovskite solution, also known as a perovskite ink. Now any printer requires gravity, otherwise the ink would just go all over the place and not on the surface that you're trying to print on. But the students up at UC Merced have come up with a different solution, a way to spray the ink without the use of gravity at all. So this has the advantage of us basically being able to have like a little pod that basically just sprays solar cells and then kind of, you know, just pushes them out or spray them in space altogether. And then we can create vast arrays of solar cells, you know, football fields large that basically can provide um, as much energy as we possibly need. They chose UC Merced because of this process that we have. Generally knowing that you know, students could work with NASA is something that is very attractive. It has helped us recruit talented students. So it has, in a way, put us on the map in sort of the area of solar research and research in general in materials. I was raised in this area. And uh, yeah, no, it's really awesome that I was able to pursue this kind of research in this area. UC Merced's research has the potential to impact space missions for decades to come, could even change how we do solar back here on Earth. It makes me, it just adds to the passion that I have for the science that we're doing. And it makes, it makes you work harder and longer when you know that something you're working towards is going to be used to, you know, further exploration and science. It's, uh, it's truly a privilege to be able to work on these projects.